Hi, Ben Kavanagh here in the quarantine in the Wirral in the UK. Uh, we got here last night after I think a 40 hour journey. So we're all very happy to be here. It is a lovely accommodation. We, we didn't know what to expect. We thought maybe we would be going to some derelicts old NHS hospital. We really didn't know what to expect. We heard lots of rumors, most of which were negative. And then when we arrived, it, it's like some sort of university housing for nurses. I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, it is so much nicer than anything we could have imagined. Each person has their own bedroom and each bedroom has its own ensuite and four bedrooms share a kitchen like they would in college or university. So it is, it is lovely. If you wanted to, you could stay in your room the entire time for the two weeks but you can also go outside to the communal area. That's where the food is usually brought in, breakfast and lunches and dinners and such. So it is, they are providing everything we could possibly need here. It is, it is fantastic. We really didn't expect half of this. Everyone has been brilliant so far in this process. As far as we know, it is definitely a 14 day quarantine, but if they tell us on day 13, oh, you have a bit of a cough, maybe we'll keep you in for five more days, then that's the way it has to be. But as far as we know, it is definitely a 14 day quarantine and then after that hopefully we can all everyone here we can all be dismissed with a clean bill of health we're all healthy enough to go back into the public so hopefully that's what happens after two weeks like i said you can stay in your room the entire time if you wanted to you could just stay in your room for the two weeks and they would bring food to you and then you could just close your door and be shut off from everyone else but if you want you can go to the communal area and socialize. In fact, I just finished having a game of pool in the communal area. Every time you leave your room, you're meant to wear a mask. And when we were playing the pool, the pool, when we were playing pool, we were wearing gloves, just, you know, better safe than sorry. All the correct precautions are being taken. And I doubt if anyone is not infected, then I suppose it will stay that way for the two weeks. Um, for example, this morning, uh, there were newspapers available and at, by the newspapers there was a note saying take one don't share them so everything is much better safe than sorry here so everything's everything's being handled the right way on the buses last night there was one person in the bus with us to you know just tell us what's happening he was in a full hazmat suit uh, but the the nurses and the doctors here the the medics they're in their, they're wearing gl gloves and masks. So, you know, that's the best way to do it when it's a coronavirus is to wear a mask and just keep the mask fresh. I would say the quarantine is probably less lonely than it was when I was quarantined just in my apartment in Wuhan. Obviously we still have internet, we have a TV in every room just for entertainment for the two weeks. Um, but like I said, you can go out, you can socialize, you know, if you take the right precautions, obviously, masks, gloves, stuff like that. Um, we are in contact with our families, so we feel more, well, I can't speak for everyone, but I feel more in the world now than I did in Wuhan. And like I said there, I didn't feel out of the world in Wuhan. So hopefully things go well in the next two weeks and everyone can be dismissed and we can just put this behind us. And I know that can't be said for the same about the people in Wuhan. So we can only hope that soon this virus can be contained and hopefully everyone in China and the rest of the world who's infected will hopefully make a full recovery.